guys, welcome to math class. You are gonna need a ruler, a pencil, an eraser, your math packet 117, and we're gonna review equal groups again. Okay, so we have a equal groups problem, and we're gonna take it from uh, sentences, and we're gonna put it into a picture. So it says, Sam has two cupcakes. Each cupcake has 10 sprinkles. How many sprinkles are there all together? All right, so we want to change this. We're going to read this again because, of course, we read this more than twice. Sam has two cupcakes. Each cupcake has ten sprinkles. How many sprinkles are there all together? So we know that we are going to draw. Sam has two cupcakes, so we're going to draw two cupcakes. And there's the frosting. <laughs> okay, just bear with me. Cupcakes. Each cupcake has 10 sprinkles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now we need to come up with a multiplication number, like a number sentence, to represent this. So how many groups do we have? 1, 2. So we have two groups of sprinkles times how many sprinkles are on each? 10 sprinkles equals 2 times 10 is 20 sprinkles. Okay, we're going to try another one together. Okay, so here's another equal group story that we're going to change into a number sentence, a multiplication number sentence. Sarah had four bowls of strawberries. Each bowl had five strawberries. How many strawberries are all together? So the second time we're going to underline. Sarah had four bowls of strawberry. Each bowl had five strawberries. How many strawberries are all together? So Sarah had how many bowls? Four bowls. One, two, three, four. They're kind of wonky bowls. Okay, each bowl had five strawberries. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Okay, so let's do a multiplication. The word equal groups is multiplication. Our other ones that we did was some, some more. Remember what that one was? Addition. And some, some went away. Is subtraction. So this is addition. This is subtraction. Equal groups is multiplication. Okay, so let's think about what multiplication problem that we're going to do. We want to know how many strawberries. So how many groups are there? One, two, three, four groups. Four groups and each bowl has five strawberries. So four times five, five, ten, fifteen, twenty is twenty and then we need to label twenty what? What was our question? Twenty strawberries. Okay, so what I want you to do is grab now your lesson 117 and we are going to go over this. Okay, so there's your problem of the day. Here we're going to practice our multiplication of twos and um, so you're going to do one, two, and three. My suggestion is to do this one first and this will help you with this one and then the matching. And it's only one-sided, so you guys will be very excited. So, of course, you are going to need a pencil and eraser and our ruler. Okay, so we're going to start this time. We're drawing a 7-centimeter line segment. We're going to go the 7 all the way over. And we're going to measure that one, and it is 4 centimeters. Don't forget your name and your date. Okay, so we're going to do this problem. It says, there were six children at the party. Mrs. Parsons put five strawberries on each dish of ice cream. 
Draw a picture to show the strawberries on the dishes of ice cream. What type of story problem is this? Remember what we just said. Some, some more was addition. Some, some went away is subtraction. And since we're working on multiplication, it's going to be what? Equal groups. Good. Okay, so now let's underline the second time we read it. There were six children at the party. Mrs. Parsons put five strawberries on each child's dish of ice cream. Draw a picture to show the strawberries on the um, dishes of ice cream. So there were six children, so we need six dishes. One, two, three, four, five, six. And there are five strawberries on each dish of ice cream. One, two, three, four, five. 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 How many strawberries did Mrs. Parsons use all together? So we're going to figure out how many groups. There are six groups, okay, and there are how many in each? Six times five, and that equals. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So 30, and then go ahead and label the answer. Strawberries. And then your answer is 30 strawberries. Okay. Again, if I'm going too fast, please put it on pause, and then you can catch up. All right, so we're going to use this graph if you look down here, it's counting by twos to answer these questions. How many children chose winter? So if we look, it goes right here, and it's between four and six. So the answer is five, because five comes in between four and six. How many more children chose spring than fall? Here's fall, and here's spring. So we need to figure out how many children is in this. So if each box, each full box is two, that's two, four, plus one is five. Okay, write one fact about the information on the graph. I'm going to look at this. You can write um, the what the, the least amount of children like. I'm going to write the most, what the most amount of children like. So most of the children chose summer. Okay? You can write any fact about this. It does not have to be mine. Okay, so number three. This one gets a little tricky. Circle the letters that have parallel line segments. Remember, parallel line segments look like that. So does an A have two lines that go like this? Or it could also look like this. Okay, so does an A have it? No. Does an E have it? Well, yeah, there's actually three lines that are parallel. What about an L? No. M, yes. This line right here and this line right here are parallel to each other. B doesn't and Z has the top and the bottom. Okay, write a mixed number to show how much is shaded. So we're going to, of course, do the three that are fully covered. So you have three fully colored boxes, and then write the fraction, and there's one out of three that are shaded. So the answer is three and one-third. All right. Go ahead and work on your multiplications, your times 2, 4 times 2 is 8, 2 times 8 is 16, 6, 14, then 18, 2, 12, 4. This gives me a chance to practice. And 20. Okay, so double check your answers. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. And...
for homework tonight, you will do the back side. Remember down here, parallel lines are either this way or this way. Okay? And here you don't need to use a crayon. You can if you want, but you can also use pencil. Down here, you are going to do 2 times what equals 10. So think about 2 times what. And we know that 2 times 5 equals 10. Okay? If you need help on this bottom part, you can go back to this page up here, and this can definitely help you with the bottom back page. All right, let me know if you have any questions.